I'm not quite if I should say Goose or Mr. Gossett. <laughs> but Goose, please. Tell, tell me, so we talked about baseball, a couple of things. You talked about where baseball has gone now with the new young players, and you're seeing more robots out there, and they've taken away the wind-up. and all. So what do you see in baseball now with all the technology? Well, you know, any time, and I'm sure you were the same way, any time I met a great who'd been there and done that, I wanted to pick their brain and find out exactly you know, find out things. That's yeah. how that's how we learned back yeah. in the day. And I had such tremendous coaching. I had uh, Dick Allen, uh, the greatest player that I ever saw play. He belongs in the Hall of Fame. Took me under his wing and taught me how to pitch uh, location of pitches. Right. And uh, sequence of pitches. And, and then I had Johnny Sane on the, uh, you know, I could throw a ball through a car wash. Uh, you know, but I but I had no idea what an off-speed pitch was. Right. So, and then I had Chuck Tanner as my manager. But Johnny saying to run into him and Dick and Chuck all at that, I said the stars were aligned. And yeah. I was a great student of the game. And I'm amazed, uh, Mike, the analogies of taking it from the bullpen to the mound between the lines, what we call between yeah. the lines, and taking it from the um, you know, the driving range to the first tee. To the first tee. Yeah, it's, it's a different world. It, it is. It's a different animal. Yeah, and unless people have been there and they've been in that world, you almost can't explain it to them. You know, and, yeah. and, and I think, what do you think about, I think these guys now that try to require or rely on the robot and the mechanics, in that situation, I don't think they can really make adjustments and figure out what they need to do to pitch well, when it isn't right. Well, I'm exactly. You know, I'm a, I'm totally amazed. I I went to spring training as a special instructor uh, with the Yankees. Mr. Steinbrenner invited me after I retired in '94, and I went there for 22 years as a guest instructor. And I told those young kids, this is amazing, Mike, that I would tell those young kids. We had you know probably 20 guys on the ro uh, non-roster guys that yeah. were just young kids. Uh, you know, great prospects right. uh, that would get invited to camp. And, you know, man, I know, I remember what that was like. And I, I tell them every day, every first day of our catchers and pitchers reporting, at the end of the day on the backfield, Sabathia's there, Moe's there, everybody is there. And I said, hey guys, listen, it was for the younger guys. I said, there's no question is a stupid question. I would, I would say, Gator and I, Ron Gidry, yeah. we're, we're here for you. Yeah. Pick our brains. We'll go to dinner, we'll take a bunch of you out, we'll, we, you know, we'll talk about pitching. Not one kid took me up on that, Mike, and it, it's just amazing to me that I, I think they've just become so computerized that they really have forgot how to even converse. Yeah, how to ask a question. You yeah. made that comment. And the other thing, you know, that you said big time, like I say, is the wind up and how mechanical they're getting. Now we're doing the same thing in golf. They tried to t make it more efficient by making less motion. And when you said about pitching, they've wound up forever. And now all of a sudden they're not gonna wind up and they're gonna throw it where they're hurting their arms and all that kind of stuff because of what they're trying to do. Well, it's like golf, you know, we use our big muscles to hit balls. Yeah. You know, and, and pitching was just like, if you don't use the big muscles in, what they're not doing is they're not, anytime you lift your arms over your head, you are incorporating lats, you're incorporating, and you've got movement. That hitter, you know, these are like, these guys are like throwing, you know, like Iron Mike. Yeah. They're like all robots, you know, yeah. it's like every pitch, no wind up. I say, I call them a piece of shit wind up. That's what I call them. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, it's like they wound up for a hundred years. Tommy House, I believe, set back, set uh, pitching back a hundred years, I've said, because, you know, he wanted us to go to that when I was with Nolan down in Texas in 90, uh, in 90. And, uh, you know, we just told him, go crap in your hat, you know? Well, you know, and that's where golf, you look at Jack Nicklaus, you look at all those old guys, big, long, big turns, big wind up. You know, what's happened with golf though now is they're starting to learn that that's actually more efficient because they're not as tight. There's not as many injuries. So you're starting to see guys go, wait a minute, that old efficient, tight, and jumpy put a lot of pressure on their arms and shoulders they didn't need. Exactly. So uh, it's just interesting. I appreciate you talking to me. And I mean, it's oh, just man. interesting to like. see the difference or the similarities between baseball and golf and walking out on that. I mean, I would have loved to have done what you've done, but I'm sure walking out on that mound 
in New York and, and walking onto the first tee of a major championship, there's a lot of the same, your legs are heavy, you know, you're shaking, you don't know if you're gonna be able to hit the ball. You figure, oh, oh, I wonder if right. I can even find the tee it up. There, there are so many uh, same, uh, relatively the same, everything, the mindset, you know, forgetting a short, many people go, Goose, how were you such a great reliever? I said, I couldn't remember what happened last night. <laughs> you know, a short memory is a beautiful thing. It is right? a good thing. It is a good thing. <laughs> well, thanks and have fun this week and we'll talk again. My pleasure. I'd just like to say thanks for the lesson yesterday. We, we've been talking nothing but uh, about our lessons that our group has gotten and you know, it was amazing. My, hey, they're, they're the it's just amazing. A little thing here and there, just like pitching. Oh yeah, uh, it makes all the difference in the world. It does. So thanks, Mike. You bet. Thank you.